I'm continuing my countdown of the greatest Canadians in history, and we're on number 224, Nancy Green. Born in Ottawa but raised in Rosslyn, British Columbia, Nancy Green came from a family of skiers. By the time she was in high school, she was competing in the Canadian Junior Championships, and she'd earned the nickname of Tiger for her attitude while skiing, and she'd become the most decorated skier in Canadian history. In 1967, she broke the European domination of skiing by winning the World Cup. That year, she would win 7 of 16 events, earning her Canadian Athlete of the Year honors. In 1968, she took things to a whole new level. At the Winter Olympics, she won gold in the giant slalom by one of the widest margins in Olympic history, and then she took silver in the slalom. At the World Championships that year, she picked up two gold and a silver. Once again, she was named Canada's Athlete of the Year. By the time she officially retired in 1975, she had won 14 World Cup victories. With her husband, Al Rain, she would become instrumental in the early development of Whistler Blackcomb Resort, which would help Vancouver earn the Winter Olympics in 2010. From 2009 to 2018, she would also serve in the Canadian Senate. A six-time Canadian champion and three-time United States champion, Green has been inducted into the Canada Walk of Fame, the United States National Ski Hall of Fame, the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame, and in 1999 was named Canada's Female Athlete of the 20th Century. She's also been awarded the Order of Canada. In 2010, she would light the Vancouver Olympic Cauldron with Steve Nash, Rick Hansen, Katrina LeMay-Done, and Wayne Gretzky. So that was Nancy Green. Who's going to be number 223? Find out next time, and if you want to learn all about Canadian history, then check out my podcast, Canadian History X.